Now let's look at some of these objections very quickly. The first is that belief in miracles in general and in the New Testament miracles in particular arose in a primitive pre-scientific culture where people were ignorant of the laws of nature. That's nonsense, of course, because a moment's thought shows us that in order to recognize some event as a miracle, they must know a corresponding regularity to which that event is an apparent exception. If you don't know that people who die normally stay in their graves, you'll not be surprised at a resurrection. <laughs> and of course that was appreciated long ago. Joseph, for instance, who was espoused to Mary, knew exactly where babies came from. <laughs> and so when Mary said she was pregnant, he wanted to divorce her. He wasn't ignorant of the laws of nature. And so his reason for later accepting her and the child that was conceived of the Holy Spirit, God becoming incarnate, must have been enormously powerful. It is simple nonsense to say that people did not know the laws of nature in those days. In fact, there was a uniform attitude against resurrection. When the Apostle Paul preached to the, uh, the philosophers at Athens and talked about Anastasis, Jesus rising from the dead, Anastasis, to stand up again, they laughed. They would not have laughed if he'd have been simply asserting the survival of some soul. They laughed because he was asserting something none of them believed in, and that is the physical and bodily resurrection. 